just love trucking. I just absolutely love trucking. I mean, look at this. Look at this. There's a house up there trying to head. They have this in their backyard, you know, to wake up and then see this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, I come from a place like downtown, like, like Dallas. You know, big city life. You know, skyscrapers. Uh, won't know all that, but, you know, all the big buildings you see in downtown Dallas, you know, uh, people in, like, communities, pretty much living elbow to elbow. And then you come out the trucking and then you see stuff like this. Green grass, open roads. Like, literally, when I'm driving this truck, honestly, I don't have any problems. All my problems, all my issues are gone. They're gone. I mean, really. The worst that can happen is if I... The worst thing that can happen right now is if I... I can probably give myself a headache for thinking a little too much, you know? So, <laughs> but that's a good problem to have, right? Because I'm thinking about the future. I'm not, and this is no shot at people who work, you know, nine to five jobs. You know, I came from that. You know, I know how it feels to work at a warehouse and, uh, you know, pretty much be treated like crap. You know what I'm saying? Or like just retail or, you know what I'm saying? I used to work fast foods. I used to work warehouses. I used to work um, sales, outside sales, indoor sales, customer service. I've done all that. You know, when I'm out here in this open road, you know, I don't, technically, I, actually, I don't have a boss. I have a dispatcher. But they're just assigning me loads. And if I have a question, I go to them. You know, other, other than that, I mean, I control my destiny while I'm out here on this road. I can control how much I make. I can control how little I make. I can, I can control my home time. Only thing that I can't control is traffic and weather. But those are two good problems to have because either way it goes. I would rather have those, them problems. I would rather have problems like those as opposed to you know, a boss looking over my shoulder or, you know, something like that. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see further in the distance. I mean, it's mountains on mountains on mountains. And I'm going to go slow going down this hill because it's beautiful. Like, it even smells different out here. Like, you know, that spring, that, I mean, that fall smell. Like, you know, you remember as a kid growing up, there were certain smells you remember, like that wintertime smell, that fall smell. Like, you literally get that out here. It's like no pollution. Like I said, you're, you're free out here. You know, <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. Trucking. Uh, is going to open up so many doors for me. It's going to be, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, um, so I want you guys to stay, stay tuned, stay focused on, on what work in progress has up this sleeve. Because, believe it or not, we're all work in progress. You may not know it, but you're a work in progress. You're looking at this video, and you want more for yourself. Or even if you're in truck, you're still working on something that's gonna better yourself. Everybody's changing, you know, and that's what work in progress is really all about, is change. Good change, bad change, no matter what it is, change. Bad change is still good change, especially if you learn from it. Because nothing stays the same. Either you're gonna get better or get worse. What are you gonna do? Have you thought about that? What does your next five years look like? What does your next 10 years look like? Do you have a blueprint? What does your next 15 years look like? I'm 30 years old. I already have a 20 year plan. I've got a five year plan. I've got the 10 year plan. 15, 20. In 20 more years, I'll be 50. I got the whole thing mapped out. All right. Do you have a map for yourself? Because if you don't, you 
probably need to stop this video right now and write down, first of all, write down what you're grateful for, and then write down what you plan on doing and how you plan on doing it, because that's important. You know, you know, you start to notice that if you do have that list, if you're one of those people who, it's a nice car, um, STI by the way, but anyways, if you're one of those people who have, who, who will actually, you know, took initiative to make that, to make that plan for themselves, then you know the ones who have not done that. And I call those people, the ones who haven't done it, I call those people AI players. Artificial artificial intelligent players, you know, like computer players. You ever played the video game and like, you know, the like computer players like running around just shooting, you know, just any any little everything? I, I, that's, that's how I see it. If you don't have a roadmap to success, you're just running around hoping you find somebody. But if you got the map and it tells you exactly where where it's at, you want to write that. And that's what's important. And trucking, for me personally, trucking is my map, my foundation, my platform, as you can see. You know, I started, if you look back at my old videos, I started with nothing. Started from nothing. Dude, if you go back to my very first video, I've only made like 60 videos. So if you scroll all the way down to the very first video, man, you notice how how far I came. All right. <laughs> so, and this is not, I'm not complaining or bragging. I'm just letting you know, if I can come from nothing and make something out of it, you can too. I believe in infinite situations. It's infinite situations. Anything can happen. You know, also, uh, I personally, I trade Forex. So I believe in possibilities. The more possibility of you being right, the more possibility, the more chances of you being, you know, having that, placing that right trade. You know, if you, if you know Forex, you know how to trade stocks or Forex, uh, or even cryptocurrency. The more chances you, you, the more, the more, the more you are right, rather if it's fundamental, or, you know, you're getting the fundamental, you're in the news, you're getting, uh, you know, instruments, whatever, everything is leading up to what you are looking for in a trade, you should take that trade. Like if you if you place yourself in the right position, the only thing that's gonna come out of this success. How could you fail if you made the, all the right moves? I mean, it's infinite situations. You can you can still fail, right? But the chances are unlikely. Pass these guys. So the more the more you set yourself up in a better position more better your outcome your situation will be that's what I did and I'm a, I gotta keep growing I have to keep changing because if I don't change I'm setting myself up for failure I'm letting failure seek in more than I want to succeed when you stay complacent that's what that's what happens when you're complacent failures you get more failure morale you get the more you get more of the morale failure the failure morale than you do the success morale. I don't know if you guys played this PlayStation game called Dynasty Warriors. And it's with, it's it's based off of like old ancient Chinese warriors. Dynasty Warriors, look up the gameplay. You know, and that, if you ever played it, you notice that there's a morale at the top right of that of the gameplay. And what you want to do in the game, it, it's like red is like your enemy and blue is like an ally. And the more blue that's that's on the morale stick, the more the more chances it looks like you're going to win, right? The more your army your army is taking over the map, the more blue it is. Versus if it's a lot of red, you're losing. And that's how life is. You know, you're in the middle in the in the in the in the, in the beginning of all this. You're in the middle of the you're in the middle of the stick. 
between failure and success. You gotta move that stick. You gotta move, you gotta have more color in the success than you do in the failure. In five miles, take in the two and how you do that is you gotta keep raising the bar. You gotta keep doing, you gotta keep growing, keep building yourself. You may have one job, get two jobs. You may have two jobs. Like I said, you may have one job, get two jobs. You got two jobs, get three jobs. Now if you work at three jobs, you, you figure out how to work one good job that can supplement all three, or at least two of them. That's what I did. I went from working one job to working two jobs, from two jobs to working three. Now I supplemented all three of my income from driving trucks. And in trucking, in trucking, you can scale, right? You can go from making, you can go from making that of one thousand a week, and this is no cap. You can go from making one thousand a week to five thousand a week, from five thousand a week to ten thousand a week, if you're doing, if you, if you have the right knowledge if you know what you're doing you know so this is just a little motivational talk while i'm out here driving i've, I've got to go to uh north carolina real quick to go pick up something some chicken and uh, i've got to drop it off um i forget the location but it's not important right now at this very moment i'm getting me giving you guys some motivation you know if you think about getting into trucking do it and i can help you too you need your permit. I know the I know the practice test you need to study. I know all the stuff you need to study. So hit me up in my comments. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram. Um, so that way you can see exactly. There are some things that I don't post on YouTube that I post on Instagram. And it'd be real valuable information. Most of the time it's about, you know, what's going on. What's going on in the trucking situation and stuff like that. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram. Subscribe for my on my YouTube channel. Stay up to date. And um, yeah, guys, think about it. Think about your life. Think about your life. All the things you've done. All the all the messed up things you did. How are you going to come back from that? Even if you're doing good, how can you do better than that? Because the grind never stops. We're in an economic planet. Money does make the world go around. How are you going to expand? Because the gap is getting bigger. The poor is getting poor, and the rich is getting rich. And it's happening right in front of your eyes. You may not see it. It's unconsciously happening, you know, in front of you. But it's it's happening. Change is always happening. So, guys, stay ready, stay prepared, stay positive, stay motivated. Uh, let's get to it, man. Work in progress. I'm out.